What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Okay, uh, BFF's new episode. We get our all spread out. Bree's in LA. Josh is in Newfoundland. No, where are you now? In between. I'm yeah. I'm in Toronto now. Toronto, got it. Yeah. Uh, and um, in Montauk. Okay, let's get into the headlines. Um, we have an interview later with Young uh, Gravy. We'll start with the Charlie D'Amelio. It, did I get that right? You were at the no. closest you've ever been, though. Because I really studied at her last name there and tried to nail it. Um, Charlie <laughs> and Landon Barker versus Huddy updates. So Huddy calls Landon a bum star in his song, All the Things I Hate About You. You could have had a rock star, but you chose on you chose up on a bum star bootleg version of me. That's your loss. Um, Landon clapped back, calling Huddy a poser. I grew up on rock music and the best pop punk bands in the uh, world. Poser. <laughs> They're kind of both uh, losers. In like this got exchange. it handed to them a little bit. Well, no, not that. But I mean, uh, Huddy's not a rock star. All right. Yeah, but I don't know if Landon can claim rock star title yet either, right? Like, for sure not. I didn't. I, that's why I'm saying they're both like Landon's clapback of being like, "Well, I, my dad's like a rock star." <laughs> that was his clapback. My yeah. I grew up on rock music and around the best pop punk bands in the pop punk bands. It's like pop punk, our own band around the best pop punk bands in the world. Poser, that's true. Like he's that's a fact. But I don't know that that makes you a rock star. And little Huddy, maybe he'll be right. He's definitely not a rock star now. Mm -mm. So they both, this is like point break. This time we both lose, Johnny. Like there's no winners in this particular exchange. No, yeah, they're both not punk or pop, pop punk. They're both not pop punk rock stars yet. No. And maybe yeah, one of them will. Mind. Maybe they both will. But they're definitely not now. No, nah, no. Nah. Who, who would you say is closer? Huddy or Barker? Well, I thought, like, the last song, like, besides, I guess, the Josie song that Landon was putting out or put out, I don't know if he ever put it out, but the the other song that I'd heard him done was, like, a rap song. So I don't know if, well, I don't know what direction he wants to go in, if he wants to be, like, a rock star or a rapper. Does he have any other music? I mean, I know he has a, I know he has a rap song or something like that. I would yeah, say I mean, his last song is, like, rock star song. I, I will say, though... Based on this, Landon Barker's not like his claim. His argument is seemingly, I grew up in a rock star environment. That makes me closer to rock star than you, who's a TikToker turned singer. But TBD on what happens. You guys went to his launch party, I think, or I know Bree did with seemingly sworn enemies of the show, which I'm sure we'll get to like later. Sheesh. That's not true, but well, we'll get to well, it. well, well. It, I didn't. It's not not no. true. You Do know? we need to break it you, down? You were at dinner. Okay, and look where I'm sitting. So I show up to this dinner. I don't know who's going to be at this dinner. I get invited to it. There's like 16 people. And then I show up and it's me on this side and then Jaden on this side. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And we just keep making the most awkward eye contact. Like I avoid him at all costs. And then we go to the same party after. And he comes up to me to like shake my hand. And I have two drinks in my hand. And I just look down at my hands and I go... And I couldn't shake his hand. And it was the most awkward thing I've ever experienced. And then I just avoided him all night. So no words exchanged. No, I had people being like, we need an emergency press conference. Bree is at yeah, dinner know. with um, with Jaden. And and then I did say I, someone sent me the opposite table. And so that seemed planned. So you never talked to him. Nothing. Because, well, by the no way, it, it's like. It's not just the jo Josh thing. I think you've trashed him pretty good too, no? Oh, I have. That's why I'm like, I don't I don't want to talk to this person. We've said horrible things about him, but so he like he said like I said he came up to introduce himself to me and he went to shake my hand and I couldn't shake it and that was very awkward. And then like throughout the night, we were kind of all hanging out with the same people and 
there was just no word spoken. It was just very awkward eye contact. And then his manager was talking to me about how like she really wants Josh and Jaden to make up. And I'm like, I, I'm not going to be the one to do that tonight. The peacemaker. Maybe you will. No, she I mean, won't. Uh, what was your know. reaction? How do you find out that they are dinner together, Josh? Uh, I got it like I just got it sent to me. Like a couple people like had like DM me it or whatever, and I kind of saw it. I think I didn't see it till the next morning or something like that. Though. Did you guys talk? Like, yeah, like, did no, you wait, send wait. her a DM? Did you send her a DM? Be like, did what it, the fuck? Did I text you, Brianna, or did you text me at the start of that? That no, you texted me, Brianna. And I you were texted like, Yo, you. Jaden, Jaden's manager is trying to make you guys friends again or something. Yeah. And I was like, lol, no. <laughs> yeah. O'Malley was there too, right? <clears throat> yeah. Did she talk to anybody? No. So who invited you to this dinner? Um. So there's this guy that owns this like company after party. It's like an NFT thing out here, and he always invites They're me to dinner. They're still doing that. They're still doing NFT things. Yeah, it's like this crazy yeah. house. I don't know. And he just always invites me to shit. So I was like, sure, I'll come. And I had no idea who was going to be at dinner, and it was it was weird. I can imagine that being quite, quite awkward. And it's obviously and the like... the eye contact was like really bad. Like it was really awkward. You know when you don't want to look at someone and we were both feeling the same way and we just kept making awkward eye contact? It was bad. I mean, they had to know... It's no coincidence that you guys are at opposite ends of the table, right? <laughs> I know. It had to have been a little planned. Had to have been yeah, a little planned. Had, like the literal same seat on the opposite side of the table. And then people are also telling me Josie was there. Like what... Mm -hmm. What now that was part of the land and rumors, correct? Mm. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, did you get any good notes for us or anything, Brie? True, uh, no, well, I it was like confirmed that she was definitely with him, but she oh, she didn't really well, talk about she didn't really talk that, about him. I didn't, that, know that was that was new, that that was like everyone knew that, right, Josh? I thought everyone knew that they were definitely together. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Hand up, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. well. Hank can we, go down. They were we, definitely together. We did not confirm that on this show. No. Were you we talking didn't. about the Jaden part or the Landon part? Landon. Oh, I'm talking about Jaden. You did say oh. Landon, though. You did say, is Josie in the Landon of it all? Okay. Yeah, I, you did. I, I, let me rewind because the rumors with the with the Barker kid, Landon, was that Josie was flirting with Jaden and that was the breakup, correct? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Austin. And then at this dinner, which is a mishmash of friends, enemies, lovers, <laughs> potentially, Josie shows up with Landon. But I mean, with Jaden, why do all their names sound there? Why just be like Josh? Or like I know. <laughs> Timothy. Yeah. Um, I have a fucking great I name. I guess, though, what you're saying is this is like a game of Clue where the – the participants of this dinner didn't even know they were going to show up with each other. Yeah. So theoretically, Josie could have had no idea that Landon was there. Jaden. Yeah. Well, Jaden. Also, I think she did because uh, there was a picture of Tana, Jaden, and Josie and someone else in a car together. So I think they came together. Yeah. So, okay. So I was I thought I was you went looking. with Tana. No, I went. We were invited by the same person. And then I went to the parties with Tana afterwards. And Jaden... And Josie and Tana were like all together. But to me, it looks like Jaden and Tana were closer than anyone else. Oh. Mm. Yeah. But like, I think they're best friends, she says. So I'm like, I don't know. I couldn't pick up on anything with Josie. She didn't talk to him, to Jaden. Interesting. If I was at this dinner, I would just be like studying every move. That's, Literally what, I, that's just like what I did at little Huddy's party. I just was just staring at everyone trying to pick it all up. So back to the Huddy, and we'll get back to this because you you are now. I think you're like an influencer, Bree. This is like your uh, world. Bree's you're pretty like, much an influencer now. She's a yeah. social media influencer for sure. I think I'm an influencer. Two weeks in LA, and I'm now I'm an influencer. Are yeah. you like? And you like the world? We taught you like this world, right? Yeah, it's it's funny. Like you're making TikToks with like Bryce Hall. Like I liked it. <laughs> High noon in there, but I mean, people that. You've had beef, or we thought we hated you. You're just buddy, buddy. You and Bryce well, now. What are you like, Abbott and Costello? I know. Well, it's funny because like we talk about everyone here, and then they'll come up to me, and I'll be like, "Fuck!" They're gonna say something like, 
what the fuck are you talking about? But they're just like, I'm a huge fan. It's so funny what you say about me. I'm like, okay. There's no way that, like, Jaden said that. Well, not Jaden, but, like, just, so, like, everyone that's, like, when we watch their videos, I don't know. It's just, like, it's weird. No one really cares. Everyone wants, to be our, everyone wants to be our friends, I think. So then they just don't get, like, you know, they don't get talked about negatively on the podcast. I think that's true. That's, that's what everyone's goal is. Everyone just wants to be our friend, it seems. They're, they're asking Bree to make us be friends now. Like, they yeah. just don't want to give up. Everyone just wants to be BFFs with the BFFs. I, we, and, are, we are friendly with almost everybody. Obviously, the only ones, and, and it's more Josh because it's personal, and then I have your side. But unless something personal happens, I feel like most of the stuff is said in jest that we say in the yeah. show. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I didn't realize how big BFFs was, like, within the, like, influencer group. Like, every influencer listens to it. Yeah, because they want to see if they're going to get roasted. And it's like, I'm also not in that world, so I'm, like, 100 years old, and I don't really care. So I think I probably <laughs> say a degree of shit that, like, oh, we're not, what's he going to say? And I, yeah. I really, you know, like the Tana treatment. Um <laughs> Huddy's mom likes a tweet coming at Landon, and Landon claps back at Huddy's mom saying, you got to chill. you pushing 70. Ouch. Thanks. It's always tough when you start going for the guy's mom. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tomorrow, you got to chill. you pushing 70. Oh, I'm surprised he hasn't used that line on me because Landon continues to DM with the BFF account, which I guess is you, Austin, who's talking back. Yeah. So he says, any chance you want to come on the pod and talk about it? And his response, man, I would if Dave didn't talk shit about me every chance he got. <laughs> I feel you, but to clear up the confusion, I didn't steal her from him. They broke up six months ago, and me and Huddy were friends, never best friends. But besides that, there's so much more I could touch on. But I just want to keep my personal life out of this. LOL. Uh, Damn. <laughs> that, that, that man wants to talk. I think there's a chance that he comes on. I I think yeah, that's a long response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Landon, you come on, man. Come on. And, and It'll I, be a good I, talk. We'll yeah, all be I'm friends. always nice about I'm a Landon Stan, so there's at least that's one true. person on his team. I have nothing against him. I don't know him. I just call it as I see it. And I think Austin, you said I get these notes and I tried to decipher them as I'm an impartial referee. I don't know Landon from <laughs> fucking my ass to my elbow. That's, the, that's, pretty, that's what that pretty, DM was in response to was me being like, he gets these sheets two minutes before, like the information on the sheets is all the information he has about it. He's like, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I'm pretty impartial on this this situation as well. I feel like we just got to get them all on. All three yeah. of them. Yeah, I, I will say, the details. We, we've been doing the show like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. Landon's come out of nowhere. Like we didn't, met, well, at least in, to me, we didn't mention him for the first year and a half. And now he's like the lead guy on every episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's great, stepping yeah. up. He's stepping up for sure. And and I don't know if he sings or whatever, but if you're trying to get your name out there and be like the next Bree, then this is good. He's getting in the news. Where's O'Malley, by the way? In bed. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. So this summer you can face the intensity with Takis. Taki snacks are the perfect snacks for all your summer adventures. No matter what you're doing, having Taki snacks on hand makes the day so much more intense. So for hanging out with your OGs, you can serve the Takis Pop. It's air-popped popcorn. That's an explosion of intense flavor. So we got the popcorn shack. And then you can lose the boring peanuts when you watch baseball and try Takis Hot Nuts with intense double crunch technology. So we got the peanuts check. And whether you're catching waves or just hanging on the beach or by the pool, you can snack on the Taki Waves, the thick cut, wavy potato chips with an intense crunch. We got the chips check. There's so many forms of Takis. My favorite right now is the Taki Waves. They're super good. So you can try them and face the intensity this summer. Let's get back to the show. Florence Pugh versus Olivia Wilde. Rumors are swirling about a rift in Florence Pugh and Olivia Wilde's relationship. Now, Florence Pugh is Florence in the Machine. No. No, Florence Pugh is, is an actress. Have you seen Midsummer? Midsummer? No. That's I don't know. Lame. I don't know any of this stuff. That sounds super lame, Midsummer. No, Dave um, the comments. Oh, I have seen part. this. I have seen this girl in the pink. Cause then people make fun of her for something about that outfit. Yeah, but having small for boobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pro small boobs. Who cares? That's, I like yeah. her. I liked how she fought back. Good for her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout um, out to the small boobs all over the place. Yeah, small boob army. 
No offense, yeah. Bree. You got the bolt-ons. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That wasn't a shot at you. We were supporting the other people. <laughs> yeah, um, we got to we gotta support I'm, both sides. I'm for saying? all size boobs. All right, yeah, we're great. like we're like a push-up bra. We support all boobs. Love yes. it. So Olivia directed Don't Worry Darling, where Florence and Harry play love interest. This is also where Olivia and Har- Harry's relationship began. It is rumored that Olivia cast Harry because she was interested in him romantically and split a budding relationship between Florence and Harry who are looking to hooking up outside the film. Olivia allegedly took it out. Wait, it is rumored that Olivia cast Harry because she's interested in in the romantic and split a budding relationship with Florence and Harry who are hooking up. Olivia allegedly took it out on Florence while filming near and recasting her. And Florence handled it professionally. I don't know. Break it down. So, Okay, I can break it down. Okay, do it, please. Okay, so there's a new movie coming out that Olivia Wilde is directing. She's in it and she casted Harry Styles as the lead role because she had love interest in him is what people thought. And, and, and he, they are dating now, correct? Yes, this is where their relationship started. So he and the um, his co-star, uh, Florence Pugh, are love interest in the, in the movie. So they started hooking up outside of the movie and... Uh, she Olivia wasn't liking that so she tried to break them up and like recast her because she was jealous and wanted to be with Harry but I guess like Florence took it very well and handled it professionally and and And, Olivia won in the end because she ended up getting Harry right yes yeah kind of crazy though do you think that's fucked up what to like cast someone in a movie because you like them and want to fall in love with them and then take them away from the person they're hooking up with yes and I will no but this is one of those strange cases where um, if this was, I think, the gender roles were reversed, there would be major heat on a male mm-hmm. director for casting a woman because he wanted to like, hook up with her or, or had interest in her. If that's the reason, mm. I think there'd be a public outcry. This, I don't think there's a public outcry. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, Harry Styles is a legit superstar i love olivia wilde she's hot now she, that's why she dumped um the coach from the soccer Sudeikis. show jason yeah. Sudeikis, yeah yeah they you got them what was i always forget the name of the show ted ted glass yeah yes. yeah yeah okay Jeez. um olivia rodrigo and joshua bassett reunite uh they were in of course they were in high school musical the musical the series red carpet what? Olivia Rodrigo and John reunited in a high school musical. The musical series Red Carpet for the first time since Olivia sung Driver's License, which was about Josh. Yikes. Most of the songs on Olivia's Sour album were expected to be Josh as well. Um, and here they are next to each other. Uh, she's too good for him. She's too good for him, you think? Oh, yeah. Especially after he fucked her over. It's like you had your chance, buddy. Yeah, this guy looks like a little dweeb. <laughs> yeah, she's like a list superstar now. Yeah, um, Sydney. Uh, what? How 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 tall is Olivia Rodrigo? Mm, I don't know. Let's go. Not to not to dig on in the five guy's five. Fight, I guess. Yeah, Ooh, so he's, he's checking in at five six five yeah, seven five six. Yeah. Not uh, shout out to all the short guys out there. Sorry, Dave, but. You know. Well, I mean that's that's uh that's misleading and slanderous because <laughs> I I would literally stare down on this kid. I'm five ten and a half. A lot of people would say if you have tall people and short people, which you do, you have medium people and I'm a medium. Okay, okay. That's fair. She's medium. Yeah. Um my rule, if I'm not t- taller than a girl in heels though, I'm out. I can't that's the only thing I can't deal with. Uh Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> Isn't paid enough. Euphoria actress Sydney Swe- uh, Sweeney is getting criticized for saying she doesn't earn enough money to take a six month break. Uh, in the acting world, what Sydney says, Sydney is saying may make a bit more sense, but the grand scheme came off tone deaf considering she lives fairly lavish lifestyle, just bought herself a brand new $3 million house. Sydney says the unseen costs that actors don't talk about are what hit the most. Publishers may cost more than her mortgage. She is reportedly paid three hundred and fifty grand for the entire season of Euphoria, compared to Zendaya, who reportedly makes five hundred k per episode of Euphoria. Um, well, this was this was this was silly to me. That makes sense. You just said Zendaya. Yeah. Exactly. She's in fucking Spider Man. Sydney dude. Sweeney didn't do anything before. Yeah, like right. this was Sydney Sweeney's like big break, right? Like she's Correct. done a couple little things, but this was her big break. Of course, she's gonna get paid. A lot less than Zendaya. Right. 
You have yeah, a, so Zendaya so. came in as a certified A-list superstar. In oh, fact, yeah. you could argue your paycheck should go to Zendaya for ma- helping make Euphoria a hit because that <laughs> elevates you. Now, Sydney Sweeney's next role, well, she'll probably get more money because she's oh, been established. And, and the next season too, right? Like they'll yeah. as soon as they can, they up those contracts. They all shoot up like crazy for the yeah. next show. Yeah, so. so She's much to do about nothing from Sydney Sweeney. Um, Taylor Fan Swift tried to fix her carbon footprint. These are all people who s- fly private in their CO2 emissions. I saw this. Is this edited with mine or is this real? No, they, so I think that, is no, that, that, is, that wasn't in the actual list. Uh, Quiggs in our BFS meeting said he's going to make it his job to figure out what Dave's CO2 emissions were and how they compared to did. the other ones. He also said that all these numbers are wrong. The, the list is probably right, but it's like a tenth of what all these numbers actually are. That he, they used like a wrong equation or something. I don't know. So he was trying to just figure out every single time I've flown private, basically? Yes. Yes. Because I got to say, I got to say, there's no way. No offense. No offense, Dave. But you think Travis Scott only has done like double the private jet flying you have? Crazy. By the way. I, I, the good thing about me is I'll never get caught being a hypocrite in this particular case because if I can afford to fly private, I'm going to fly private. And f- you know what? If your great grandkids and CO2 have to f- suffer, I flew private. Like <coughs> uh, that's like it's the best perk going. So I, you where these people get in trouble is they give speeches on the environment and CO2 and then they mm. jump on the private plane. Yes. No, I'm never going to give that speech. I am because I will fly private. So <laughs> Fair enough. At least you That's own it. That's fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Do you see um, what Taylor's fan said though? It's in the second half of that. They basically said that rather than making Taylor fly less, 70,000 of us can cut our beef intake in half and that'll do the same thing to the environment. It's ride or die. Yeah. That, that's some pretty sweet fans right there. Now, by the way, I'm a Swifty. I am a that, Swifty. That's pretty I, sick. Yeah, I'm proud to be part of that group. Uh, Jake, Paul's, are you gonna eat? Are you gonna eat half the meat? No, 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 no. I, I'm already on the record as saying that I'm the environment is. Yeah, while he's eating steak on his private clearly jet. important. Nice. I the yeah, my decision for steak are are purely based on my appetite and how much I've had and body intake, not the environment. Um, Jake Paul fight canceled. Uh, a lot of different. He said, she said on why this is. Uh, yeah. I think there's probably a lot, a lot of different factors. I don't think tickets are selling uh, at all. But Haseem, I think, was fucking around with the weight. Why yeah. would why would Jake fight somebody that much heavier? So it's kind of a perfect storm where it just, the risk versus reward, it made more sense for him to cancel it. Um, I don't think many people cared about the fight, to be honest. Now, they, they were saying there was like 17,000 tickets that have been sold. Yeah, there was a lot still available. Um, the first guy canceled the the uh, Tony was Tony, right? Tony Fury. Tony. Uh, yeah, Tommy so Fury. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tommy Fury. So the whole thing just spiraled. It'll be in- interesting to see how he bounces back, but that's the. It's like, probably going to be like Tyler Woodley number three or something like right? that. Right. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, I think you get twenty people would watch that. Um, Logan Paul is in WWE. WWE, um, good for him. Bunch of cool clips. Don't really care. Uh, yeah, Will so Smith, that. it was cool. Yeah, they look cool. Like yeah, everything no, I was cool. It was cool. He's like light years. He's in the sky jumping on shit. It's good movies. <laughs> Athletic dude. Um, yeah. Will Smith tried to apologize to Chris Rock. Chris Rock wasn't having it. Would I forgive Will Smith? I, who fucking cares? This is old, boring. <laughs> Celebrities play Mega Millions lottery. People were just mad at them. They were like, oh, why should celebrities get to play this game? If they win, like, they better donate all the money. That was kind of it. I, I don't. That's one of those things I always hear. It. If, like, I, I was at Saratoga Racetrack, bet my ass off, got hammered. They're like, you could donate that money to charity. Yeah, I could. I still do charity, but, like, I want to have fun. And by yeah. the way, oh, hold on. My AC, I got to get an update. Did he say his AC? Yeah, his AC just like stops working in his house like on a consistent basis, and this has become the bane of his existence. Oh, wow. So he just has to get up and like, what, go turn it back on? Or? No, I think that someone's trying to fix it right, right. now. Uh, Sorry. It's, uh, uh, I thought they needed me. Um, 
So yeah, it's like you make money, you're allowed to spend money. That's how it works. Powder I mean, that's why like... people make money, so they can spend money. Totally. Yeah, it's your money. Spend it how you it's want. That, that's how it works. Totally. Instagram tries to become TikTok and fails. Instagram begins to switch its format to look and feel more like TikTok with more video-centric content, populating content from random creators instead of creators you follow. After a few days, Instagram announces they're switching back as celebrities and everyday users complain that they want their Instagram to stay Instagram. I did notice this. I think we talked about this. Yeah, at it one was point. annoying. You would just be scrolling down, and it was nobody you followed. Just like and you thought you followed accounts. them. I think yeah. we talked about it. it's like you, it's almost like a trap to get people in trouble because like yes, who is we did this? talk about this. Yes, yeah, it's like who is this person? You think you know? You look, and it's just like I don't know who this is. Why are they yep. coming up on my feed? And now you're scrolling <laughs> down their profile on someone you shouldn't even know exists. So yeah, uh, I actually yeah. know. I actually know the girl that it started this trend. Like, she's a photographer, and she was the one that started this trend and stuff. We can get her on if we want. She can talk about it. But start what get, trend? The make Instagram Instagram again. Like, she oh, started oh, that. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, Illuminati. Oh. Thank God she did that. Shout out to her. George Jetson is born. This means nothing to you two. In the show, mm-hmm. The Jetsons, George Jetson was born on July 31st, 2022. That is nuts. This is like a show I grew up, and it was – the future basically oh my god no i mean i watched the show uh, did you not watch the show brie no what show oh, is I th- this? meet george jets in dun, yeah dun, 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 dun. his <laughs> wife judy dun 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 uh, we lost his guys. yeah meet and they have george the dog jets they're like dun, flying around dun, 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 yeah his yeah, yeah, yeah. Wife, i watch this all the time dun, dun, dun. oh so his. they said he was going to be born on this day it, it like t- yeah he was born july 30th it, it was supposed I mean, to be 100 years in the future like they made uh, it in whatever yeah like if you and like it was they're based in 2062 flying cars and crazy it's still pretty futuristic to be my boy asteroid and their dog asteroid leroy my my boy leroy <laughs> something like that yeah. um welcome BFF- to the world George yeah Johnson. crazy uh, BFF's corner, Ethan Klein versus BFS. H3 podcast want to rant accusing Dave and BFF specifically specifically of giving them a copyright strike if they use a clip from our podcast and YouTube's fingerprinting technology automatically gave BFFs the copyright claim. H, H3 accused BFFs of striking their YouTube video when YouTube auto-populates this on its own. So we're defending itself. Austin told me about this. I know we've talked about this guy, Ethan Klein. If you told me Ethan Klein's name last week, I'd be like, who's Ethan Klein? What's H3? I literally had no idea what Austin is, uh, was talking about. And Ethan Klein has me pegged quite incorrectly if he thinks I'm running around monitoring who's using our fucking clips. Let's watch what he said. I, But just a lunacy to think that we are issuing yeah. complaints. Is by the way, isn't it good when other podcasts use yeah, our clips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's great. It's great. Use our clips all the, all the time. Yeah, and yes. we don't want YouTube to, like, strike you or do anything. That We want our clips out there. So that just yeah. lunacy. Yeah, so basically um, what happened. What's, what's the copyright clip even do for us? Like, what's so that basically, I th- what happened? Do we get the money? Yeah, so what yes. happened is they got sent to it saying, like, this has BFS content, so the money would go to us. Like, we get oh, that all okay. the time on BFS and we do nothing. They said, no, we don't agree with that. YouTube looked at it and ruled and said, well, this is clearly their content, so the episode has to come down if you won't pay them the money. And also, the, oh. the strike has been removed anyway. Like, yeah, I mean, like got we rid get of it all anyway, the time. Like, we do this all the time. We don't want to get fucked with it on the other end. And, and we, we, we do it all the time. We get that thing all the time. Most of the time, we just let the other. If we want the clip that bad, we just let them keep the money Correct. on like the YouTube stuff. It's yeah, like, yeah, not yeah, worth yeah. it. But no, yeah, he's living in his own fantasy land that we give a fuck about that. Yeah. Um, it sounds like he, he really likes talking about you, though, babe. He's cooking apparently. dinner and talk. He's cooking dinner and talk. It's a very one sided yeah. beef. Yeah, it's to, yeah. so what uh, Austin literally said it to me, and I had no, I didn't know who he was talking about, and I didn't know what podcast. He's like, you see what? H3 or what? I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, that's all we got. We got the interview. I will say we had our first, we had like an influencer like meet up in Mod Talk. Silvana and Amanda Diaz met. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Silvana's huge fan. How'd it go? Yeah, because she was in Mod Talk for Dior and she came by and stopped by the uh, place for a couple hours. It's good. I think they're like besties now. Perfect. Well, that's sick. Yeah, so that was my first influencer meetup. So wait, 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 wait. 
You should send Sylvana out to any, LA. Do you have anything for us? Do you have like the what was going on? Oh yes, with yeah. Keo and Amanda. They're together. Okay, okay were, there we go. They're together. They were not together for a week. Ah, okay. uh, so it was a quick little breakup. Oh, we Correct. made a mistake. Get Correct. Okay. Yeah, and Bet. by the way, I don't like being in. I think these influencer meetups because like there was a lot of this off the record okay it's like okay and then shit that it's like well i want to repeat that's the worst part the worst that's why i just stay out of it because i don't want information i don't want Uh, because and and then if they say off the they can't say off the record to you you know what i'm saying correct like well but it was and then they're so you know whatever but i was listen it was a it's a meetup i think that's what you you kids call it it's an influencer (laughs) meetup (laughs) <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i don't know if i've ever texted Bree and been like hey you want to go have a meetup yeah that's, but that's what you guys are doing hey we'll have, have a meetup yeah, yeah, yeah we'll have a meetup uh later hey Bri, i'll be back in the late tonight so we can have a meetup cool. yeah we'll have a meetup before i go all, all right, right. Sec. Let's we'll say some stuff off the record there is one one last thing so we had a meeting with our booking team and like basically everyone we've wanted on the pod we either had on the pod or they've like said no to eternity so are there sorts of people that you guys would want to see having the pod we thought about like repeat evergreen guests like that aren't in like drama like tiny meat gang that'd be funny ironically they ended up getting drama Ooh. like t- uh, tiny meat gang like noel noel, noel, noel and cody cody, noel. cody co Ooh. Cody oh, Cohen, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they were good. People liked Andrew Schultz. I think comedians are always like if they're the right mix, willing to come on. Um, but it's the same hit list. I don't know. This is a dumb segment because it's like we're not. You know, we'd have to. Why do we get? Why do we get Joe? Are you friends with Joe Rogan, Dave? He so I've never talked to him. I did throw him. I was told today he follows me, and I didn't follow him back. So I threw him the follow back today. Sick, sick. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Relationship pending. Yeah, I'm relationship building there. He did call me. He called me brazenly male as a compliment on the last uh, Rogan uh, TikTok. He called he you what up, male? Brazenly brazen, masculine. Uh, brazenly masculine. Yeah, yeah, and he that. also said, yeah, I have achieved escape velocity, meaning I've become successful enough that it doesn't matter if my haters come at me because I've escaped. Mm-hmm. So that's nice. Gone to the wind. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, that was more just for you guys to think of, and then I'll put, we'll put it on another fan thing for who fans want to see on the show. But if you guys have any ideas, text me. Okay. Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barcel Sports. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and I guarantee the lowest price. 2022 is a massive concert year, and with so many tours going on, Game Time is reporting they are seeing some of the biggest last-minute deals ever. Tickets for artists like Halsey as low as 9, Machine Gun Kelly 8 bucks, Backstreet Boys 20, Jack White 25, and all of these artists with price under 40, Rufus Del Sol, Chesney, The Killers, Zach Brown Band, and more. Zach Brown Band, Chesney, please, yes, yes, yes. Um, make sure to use the Game Time app this summer to get the best deals to see your favorite artist. The purchase process is so quick, so easy. Once you buy tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get the game seamlessly. The best part, you get 20, 20 bucks off your first purchase. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login. Redeem code BFF for 20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Special guest here, BFF's Young Gravy. And I don't know if we're recording, but you said, what's up, coward? I'm like, wait, what? Huh? <laughs> to me? And then you said that's a term of endearment. Yo, what's up, coward? How you doing? What'd you, what? <laughs> what's up, coward? What'd you call me? You heard me. Coward? He starting called you off, a coward. Yeah. Starting off We're hot. starting off hot here. Yeah, bro. I mean, that's my, that's, I mean, that's, that's a term of endearment, but. Oh. Coward's a term of endearment? It's, my, it's new. Okay. It's fresh. You're starting that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, I guess, then. <laughs> well, what's that all about? Yeah. I think coward's just my new, I don't know. I, I felt like, I, I started people calling people cowards at one point, and it just felt, it felt right, man. I don't know. It just it felt like. We had to bring that word back, you know. It was I know it was common, you know, back in the eighteen hundreds, so I thought, let's get it bussing. I so yeah, I think coward? that I think that's a mean word. Like if someone's like, Hey, what's up, coward? <laughs> it's like, Oh, who's this guy? What what, what Yeah, what's that kinda that hurts. But, <laughs> but, that, but saying, then if you know, if we're all cowards, then you know, we're just bonding over our, our cowardice. 
Okay, nothing you've said makes sense so far to me. I don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what we're off, but if you're saying no, I get it, used to it. You're saying it's a compliment. It. It's a compliment. He's bringing the word right. back. Kind of. Thank you. Yep. Kind Ideal. of. Kind right. of a compliment, but you know, I just, you know, I had to come in hot. That's. I, I don't know hot. what's going on here. I don't know what's <laughs> going on here. I, I purposely didn't watch the podcast before this. I just knew that uh, it was lit, and you know, Caleb Presley is the one who told me to do it, and then. Um, did you do Sunday conversation and, with him? Yeah, I did Sunday conversation with him. We've kicked it a few times, and and uh, that's my boy. That must be quite the like back and forth so far. I mean, I've just met you a second ago, but and I'm having a hard time understanding like what where you're coming from if you're serious or not. So you and Caleb must be quite the pair. A great duo. Oh yeah, no, no, he's that's my boy. I feel like we're related in some way. You know, we kind of yeah. look similar. Yeah, you guys can look like brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I could see it. All right, well. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Young Gravy. Quite, quite the <laughs> beginning. Uh, coward, I guess. So, for go, I, I, I've done all the research that I get, and by that I mean like the the sheets on you. If you were giving the okay. elevator pitch to people who don't know you, how would you describe yourself? What are you? Uh, I'm tall, um, six seven, right? Like Montel. Jo- what's it, Montel six, Jordan? A lot taller than I thought yeah, you were yeah, going to be. Tall. That was crazy. Six, six seven. seven. Uh, uh, I'm a Midwest boy. It's a wholesome little mama's boy from the Midwest. Uh, I make rap music, and um, if you're trying to get it, uh, your mom's probably going to get it first. I was right, going to say, right. does being a does being a mama's boy from the Midwest have to do with the MILF attraction? I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so. I think it just you know it's unrelated. I think I'm a wholesome person from the Midwest, you know. So I like you know tender love and care, and um, the moms give you the best tender moms love and care. Moms are better with that. You all know, right, all they right. got they got it locked in. So are you a comedian? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say I'm a comedian, man. I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm a musician, rapper, and uh, I got some fun bars, but I haven't ever really done any other sort of comedy. You know, I haven't ever done anything that was intentionally going out there to just make people laugh. Uh, but I got a lot of comedian homies. I'll like do little sketches with them, but that's, that's, that's about it. Is that how you two knew him, Bray and Josh? You consider, like, I, I, I'm going back and forth on everything on whether... And I do take it as an insult if I say you got little dicky vibes. No, no, I wouldn't take that as an insult. Uh, I, I, I think little dicky's sick. I still haven't seen his show, but I heard it's amazing. And um, I wouldn't say he was any sort of my inspiration, but uh, I've, I mean, I learned about him once I was already kind of had my own style, and uh, I think he kills it. It's just I. I'm not sure what his process is, but I'd say that his his process is a little bit more like starting with some sort of like you know bit and then making a song out of it whereas mine is sort of i'll make music and then i just rap kind of what comes to mind which can be comical at times all right i got it so rapper first obviously a little bit of comedy mixed in now brie and josh what like how would you guys describe him to somebody who didn't know i assume he's huge here 1.7 million instagram tiktok's big youtube's everything's big yeah i mean like for me i i I look at him as a rapper. I would say I look at you as a rapper, right? Like, and I guess I would, to add on to that, like if you're describing like personality or like characteristics and stuff, I would just say like, keeps it light and fun. Like, I feel like you you do like put a lot of comedy into your work or you like to joke around and stuff and like interact online and, and have a good time. But you're also like making some pretty cool music at the same time. So. Yeah, I feel like you use social media to like boost your personality and then people like you as a person. They're like, oh, he actually makes music too. And then they fuck with you more. Yeah, yeah, well, that's that's a fact. I think I think I'm just kind of myself on social media, and then my music. I mean, I'm myself in the music too. But but it, you know, just just using social media to like you know any any thought that's on my mind or whatever, get it out there, and people seem to think it's funny sometimes. Think it's lit, wholesome. It can be wholesome too. I have some wholesome moments, you know. Like what? <laughs> Man, I've 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 talked, dude. I I mean, just last week I did like this whole therapy thing where like it was you ever, you heard of therapy yet, Gecko? It's like this uh, Twitch channel. No, I don't think I. You gotta check it out. We we dressed up as geckos and like got calls from people. Oh ser- yeah, that's hilarious. Serious but it's also pro- cool. Yeah. Serious problems. When we were like talking people through them. I've done a lot of like, like I don't know, make a wish vibe type uh, meet and greets with people. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of like, I think it's now like five engagements that happened at my concerts or meet and greet, like people getting engaged or proposing. 
Uh, you know, I'm into that wholesome stuff. What's so that feel on, like? Are you on? T- like, how often are you performing? Are you like on a tour? Like what? Like how often yeah. do you do I've, shows? So, so I I graduated from college uh, at the end of 2017. I started my first tour ten days later, and uh, let me think. That was 2018. Was four years ago, and there was two years where I couldn't tour. COVID. Right? Yeah. COVID. Yeah. 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 And I've done 300 shows about in that time. So I've toured way too much. What about uh, the, the the MILF thing? Is this re- that's real? Like, I mean, yeah. When did you conquer your first MILF? Or is this real. a bit? Is that a bit? It's no, it's real. It's real. Um, but I'm not. I'm not loyal to just MILFs, you know. And people seem to have realized that recently. In yeah, you had a sex but, tape come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, well, what but, happened there? Anyway, by anyways, the way, I, what happened there? Well, here we'll we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. The MILF thing. <laughs> I did have. I did have to answer your question. Uh, uh, I was rudely interrupted. I, I, um, I. Well, you brought it up. You can't. You, you hinted at it. You alluded to it. <laughs> so I, um, I did have an experience with a much older woman when I was in high school, um, and then again, like in college, before any rap stuff. And you know, it just it felt right, and I thought, you know, I need to sort of spread this this knowledge to the rest of the you know the people. And uh, it just fit, it fit well with what I was rapping about, which, you know, sometimes there was like food themes and like, you know, being, I was going to say being in the kitchen, but that sounded a little bit offensive. So, you know, just like, I'm always rapping about being with MILFs and, you know, I got a song called Martha Stewart. It all kind of just, you know, connects. So uh, it's not a bit, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't discriminate against uh, women my age. Got it. Can I go back to the sex tape league? Go ahead. Are we ready yeah, for that? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we can. So this happened later. last week? Yeah, man. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, I believe, I'm 98% sure it was this hacker who hacked my phone. You know, you guys know what a SIM swap is? Yeah, yeah. Where they, they go pretend that they're you and they go to, like, your phone carrier mm-hmm. and all that. Happened to me two years ago, and it was, it was this group called Chuckling Squad, which are, like, really legendary hackers, like, get everybody. And uh, they were trying to get me for a while. They finally did. Uh... I got my phone back. I got everything back, but they got like my iCloud, like a bunch. I mean, they, they basically had like three hours to do whatever they wanted with my iCloud and all that. And then I summoned my hacker. A hey, shout out to Eli. I summoned my hacker, and he out hacked them, and I got my stuff back. But, but uh, I figured it was all over. And then just very recently, I saw a tweet that went up, and it was it was this video. <laughs> I mean, it's. I think it's funny, man. It's a hilarious video. It's a it pretty, pretty funny. It's a funny video, man. Like they, I mean, luckily, I don't know if I had many other ones like saved to iCloud. I don't know why that one was, but, but I, uh, it could have been worse. And, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, they, they, they got it out there. When I first saw it, it had 150 views on Twitter. And I was like, all right, I hit up like my lawyer and everybody I was like, let's get this taken down. And then. It was a weekend. That was the problem. They dropped it on a Saturday. Everyone's at my lawyer was on vacation. Yeah, Everybody yeah. else is out of work. So they had two days to do what they wanted. And then come Monday, it had like a bunch of re-uploads. All of them had a million views on Twitter. And uh, everyone just saw me fucking throwing back shots while smiling. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, some people, some people were disappointed in my dick game because, you know, this was about... I remember the moment it was about 30 minutes into clapping cheeks and I'm, 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 you know, it's, it's right into the end. It was a good friend of mine. We were, you know, uh, filming it just for, you know, friend purposes and, yeah. and keep it for later. And I got a leg cramp and, and people are, seem to think that my, my dick game is weak now. So, oh. so, uh, it's literally the video is literally you cramping up. Is that like, are you telling the truth right now? Yeah, no, the video is literally me hitting back shots for a second. Luckily there's not a whole lot of like, like genitalia exposed. And then, uh, I, <laughs> I had the phone with the flash on and I like laid it down on like, I basically laid it down on this pillow to like, you know, say, forget like, fuck it. We're not going to film this anymore. And it just so happened to land on the pillow and it was facing me. <laughs> and I was like, it's funny. Cause in the video, I literally like am hitting cheeks and I like go down to the camera and I was like, Oh, it's facing me. And I was like, Hey buddy. Like I re- referred to myself <laughs> As like hey buddy, You're talking I literally to look, yeah, I looked at myself like oh hey buddy, and then I kept going, and then I got leg cramp, and it's like a twenty second video. It could be worse, but that's yeah, a man, lot that of was shit like that year. happened. Yeah, that's a lot of shit that happens in twenty. Yeah, seconds. a lot in twenty seconds. Talk yeah, to yourself. Yeah, it is. Leg cramp, 
phone down. It's like a yeah. very wholesome sex tape. It's yeah, yeah. right. It's it's funny, and I, I feel bad like for people who like might feel like differently about me or scarred in some way. But hopefully, overall, people are like, you know, this is like. It's fitting, you know, it's on brand. It's just like me, you know, being myself, you know. Right. Just Everybody to, fucks. Yeah, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be fucking, but but it, it was an old one. It was a friend, and uh, yeah, man, it was. Uh, yeah, it could be worse. Beautiful moment. Oh, it definitely, things could be worse. Um, so are you constantly, it's kind of the new wave. Are you? First of all, I'm going to say this. You got maybe one of the nicest. I don't know who wrote this sheet, but I was reading <laughs> through it, and you got one of the nicer compliments I think somebody can get. In describing your appeal, Young Gravy has the same appeal as the Jack Harlow and Pete Davidsons of the world. Pretty good two people right now to be compared to. Yeah, I have been getting that a lot lately. I, I don't know. I think it's I think it's mostly TikTok because people like on there like to really just get it get into somebody and just like take it to the next level. And um, I, uh, you know, I'm honored. I'm, I'm Jack. Jack's. I've never met Pete Davidson, but Jack's my boy, and and uh, I watched that dude glow up. He was not. He was not the most beautiful person, and then <laughs> he came up hard, and he's a sexy motherfucker now, uh, and he deserves that, man. He he kills it, and um, I'm. I guess I'm honored to be to be you know compared to them. You got take it. You got an interesting Midwestern way of like talking, and I'm not talking about the coward. You just kind of like laid back, chill. I can see why you and Caleb would get along. Um, I'm just going down here. Gra- Gravy also feeds girls on stage and at a moment even went viral and re- reposted by us. All right, let's see this clip. Let's see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, it's tough for the boyfriend. Eh? Wait, did she just kiss her boyfriend right after? Yeah, yeah, look yeah, that. That was, what was that? What did you feed her? Beef jerky? That was, no, that was in... Uh, I was in uh, Copenhagen in Denmark a uh, month and a half ago. I did a Europe tour. And uh, basically on my rider, we asked for like, you know, the usual, like some liquor. Uh, I usually get like like roses and a bathrobe and like strawberries and like all this stuff that's kind of part of a set. And then we usually ask for just like, give us your favorite like local treats. And like, you know, in America, it's always going to be like some, you know, in that city what you're cool thing is but but in uh in denmark i guess it was these licorice stick things it was kind of like a like a dusty twizzler okay. and uh i at the end of the set it just felt right so i was like you know what? i'm gonna feed this twizzler to the crowd <laughs> uh there's a lot of times you know i'll do the same thing i'll give out roses or maybe i'll like feed strawberries or whatever it is and um yeah it was a twizzler that day and this girl uh, my, my camera guy just happened to be right there but she uh She's really into it. She I fucked you. Yeah, she was I fucking shit out of you. And then made out with the boyfriend. Interesting move. So I she winked. You're doing Europe hard. How 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 many people are showing up at your shows? Uh, It's a little different here versus versus there. I actually, I dude, I I've probably done like 80 shows in the last like six months. It's been it's been hectic, but you know, mainly just because because COVID ended. But Dylan Francis and I did a tour in uh, January, February. Those venues were anywhere between like 2,000 to like 6,000. And then when I go to Europe, you know, it's a little smaller. Most cities outside of like, you know, L- London, I'm doing 2,000, 3,000. Amsterdam's about that. Some of these were smaller, like like Copenhagen, I want to say like 700 people. Like it's it's cool to go back and do these shows with like a smaller crowd and kind of feel, you know, it's it's like a throwback to the earlier shows I was doing. And, and especially there. The, the crowd goes crazy. They do hella mosh pits and like just get ignorant with it. So, uh, yeah, I think that was that was 700 people, I think. And, uh, you know, she she was right up front and happened to, to wink at me. And it's a good clip. It's and good we, clip. We, we've been in touch since. And, and uh, I don't think they're dating anymore. Oh, oh shit. I, the I, milfs that, come, yeah. to come on. Is that a real that's real? <laughs> what you just said? Yeah. Because of you or oh, just my. because because. Because, I, I mean, I, I don't know if they were, I don't know how serious they were at the time. I think that the video being posted might have had some effect on their relationship. I don't think they've been dating for long, but she hits me up a lot. I know that she has big plans to come to a show soon. I'm not really saying that I'm going to, you know, reciprocate in any way. But I want to just, I feel bad that I posted the video and now she's all over the internet for that. So I'm going to give her like, you know, VIP tickets and, you know, get her sorted. Real nice. Atta boy. Look look at you. Yeah. What a humanitarian young gravy is. Yeah, yeah, a real yeah. man. Wholesome. He is wholesome. Wholesome yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, he's Thank a, you. some wholesome content. Speaking of that, what's up with you and and I'm an Addison Ray guy. Like what's up with you and her mom? 
Oh man, it's on site. Uh, <laughs> Addison <laughs> Ray's mom, Sherry Nicole. Uh, I don't know. I tried. I tried at one point. Not not that there was any sort of preference, but at one point I was kind of trying to fuck with uh, Heidi D'Amelio, and then her her husband hit me up and was not really vibing with it. But <laughs> he, sense. you know, he, he kind of he, in in a whole in like a friendly way. He was like, Nah, man, like chill out. So, well, yeah, uh, I mean, I could see that's that. my I wife. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I mean, I, yeah, I, I didn't know that there was any of that. I, I see, I don't go on the internet a lot, I post on the internet, but I don't like go look at it. So, like, a lot of things end up like I've learned them in like that type of way. I, I don't like that, that flirting with like the a married woman, like, you, you didn't know that's frowned upon sometimes. Well, I didn't know she was married, so I, I'm, I'm aware that that'd be frowned upon. I'd probably be pretty mad if I was a, a husband, but I, uh, you know. I, I I learned afterwards, and now we're boys, me and Mark. So, uh, got it. Addison Ray situation, Sharon Nicole. That is, um, she is not married. She's, she's not married. Really single, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, like there was, I don't, I don't know all the details, but it was, it was a rough little breakup. I don't really know much about the other guy. Um, but uh, she basically showed some love and was, you know, DM me at one point, and I was like, well. If I'm the MILF guy and this is like the MILF and, and I did some research, I was like, you know what, let's let's get it. So I started showing some love back and uh, you know, now it's now we're just being cute, you know. We're like making videos back and forth, you nice. know, sending little wholesome DMs. It's cute. Little, Super little wholesome. Flirting. Super Have wholesome. Have you met her yet? It's a fling. I haven't met her in person. No, no, no. But but I just got back to LA for the first time. So uh, I believe she's out here. I think yeah, she's in Louisiana take her, right now. She's she? in Louisiana right now. <sighs> yeah. You should take her on a date. Oh, that's the plan. All right. I is had, that, I had a, that's literally the plan? I mean, that is the plan. Yeah, I had a contest that I did for like my fans. when I My, my new song, Betty, that I just dropped. Right before it came out, I did a little contest where it was like a pre-save thing. I'm not really a big guy for like the whole contest thing, but I thought like my label wanted me to do it. And I thought, you know what? If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it my way. So it was like top 10 winners get a FaceTime and we'll like bond and I'll get you tickets to my shows and all that. And I'm, I'm just wrapping those up right now. It's dude, it's a, it's actually really fun. I love talking to these kids. Uh, cause I get to pick and it's like crazy artists or people who are really good at something. But then I, uh, the number one prize was I'll take your mom on a date. And I, uh, I actually did pick the, the number one winner and we went on a date last weekend, uh, in Santa Monica. Was it a good date? It was amazing. It was beautiful. Uh, single mom, single mom or married or what? Single mom, single <laughs> okay. mom. Uh, her name is Meredith. Her son's name is Jet. Shout uh, out, I'm, shout out, Meredith. I'm shouting out them because I posted it and I, and he was commenting all over it. He was hyped about it. The kid is is really down that I banged his mom. Like he's hyped about it. Oh, so it you ended actually with a bang. banged. Yeah, I mean, it was, she made it very clear on the internet as well. Like it was, it was a whole. That's why you were going on the date was to end it with a bang. Well, not intentionally. <laughs> very <laughs> wholesome. Way, it's super wholesome. smooth way to put it, but it was. I mean, that wasn't the intention, but it definitely worked out the right way. How old's the kid? Yeah, he pimped his mom Six, out. 16. No, 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 no. He, he set it up. He set up a date. He wanted, you know, get her some romance. And then, you know, it just, it, it went the best way that a first date can go. Just, just to clarify, he pimped his mom out. I mean, that's fine to say <laughs> it. That is what happened. Well, he's hyped about it, too. He's proud of himself, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you I know. know. It's, uh, kids he's got a career. It's good for everybody. A, a, a career that's, started, you know. First pimp was, you know, it's a gravy. You know, it's, that's a, that is an a good, accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good resume builder, right? Exactly. Anyways, Sherry. Uh, which is Edison Ray's mom. And I have kind of just been exchanging the occasional, you know, like she'll make a TikTok about me and I'll respond to it with something or I'll like, she'll send me a DM and I'll send something back. But I've been keeping it casual. I know she's going through like a breakup and stuff. So, you know, I'm kind of just being like that little sneaky flirty motherfucker. And uh, it doesn't seem overly sneaky. Has that, do you have you <laughs> talked to Addison at all? No, I haven't. But, but I do know that her and was it her? It was either Charlie D'Amelio or her and like a bunch of them other girls that are really popping on TikTok now. We're at my meet and greet like four years ago and I had no idea who they were. They weren't like huge yet, but they were popping and they were so humble and so cool. And then like I met Charlie D'Amelio at, at, uh, at Coachella and she was like, yeah, like I've been to like three of your shows. Like I, lo like, I love your music. And I was like, dude, like, I don't know. How she, old are you? They're cool, man. I'm 26. So you're young. You're 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 super young. I'm this is one of those things on this show. I'm like old, so I, I have no conception of some of the things you're saying, like how big you actually are. Like uh, I just don't know, and I never know. But it seems like well, you're way bigger than well, I don't know how I didn't know. I guess yeah. Well, well, I've been rapping since I was 20. I went to University of Wisconsin, and I started rapping there. And I've been you know 
My first song was Mr. Clean. That I my mean, first song that blew up. I, I mean, I have like like I fucking Mr. Clean. Mm-hmm. eighty something songs out there, but like my first song that blew up was that. Then I've had like you know I I got called a, a, a an eight hit wonder the other day because I have eight songs that are either platinum or gold, and I was like you know I'll, I'll fucking take that. Uh, so you know I'll have like I think people like who who are into rap or into like you know just this space kind of know of me, but I've never been like. I never really wanted to be like a, you know, top, like Post Malone level, you know, it sounds pretty, pretty hectic. So, uh, I kind of just like stayed at my level, gone up a little bit more. I, I'd say it's just like a slow, a slow growth over fucking five years, man. Like I do bigger shows and, you know, bigger collabs and, 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 uh, I've, I've been known of, but, but I guess I never really had a radio friendly song until Betty, which is charting. last month. Yeah. I saw that charting. Yeah. So how, it, how did we... I'm always curious. How do we end up here? Like, is it because of Caleb? Is that how we ended up having you as a guest? He mentioned it, man. I, I think I think he mentioned it, and then I mentioned it to one of my homies, and he's like, "Oh, I love that podcast. You got it." That's my dog, buddy. Yeah, that I was talking to you about. We yeah, were just we yeah. were just talking about our dogs because we both have husky yeah. huskies now. Um, do you live in L.A.? I I have a spot here. Yes, yeah, yeah. I have a, I have a crib in in Universal City, and I got my own crib, and uh, I have a condo in Minneapolis where I'm from, and yep. just kind of. Outside of touring, that's I'm using one of the two. Cool. Do you guys have? Um, I mean, it's fascinating the whole thing. We do have a game for you. It looks like MMFK, which I assume is going to be marry, fuck, kill with milfs. Yes, milf, marry, fuck, kill, maybe. Of All course. All right, let's play okay. that. Let, let's All right, play let's that. do it. Let young let's gravy, it. go, go. What do you say you got to do after this? What am I going to do after this? No, you said you had you were, you were going talking to do about like a music video or something. Oh, oh, oh! I'm going to a, a music video for uh, uh, yeah. Cochise, a uh, great rapper. You guys oh, heard? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, po- yeah. that's on Pocket Rocket that's popping on the internet. But but hey, I, I'm good on time. I'll, I'll chill for whatever if you want to do something. Okay. Yeah, well, we're playing this game Sweet. right here. Fuck Mary. Yeah, let's Kill. do this game. Uh, Milf edition. Let's get it. <laughs> Sherry Nicole, Heidi D'Amelio, and Taylor Frankie Paul. I'm killing Taylor Frankie Paul. Who is that? Uh, Who's Taylor Frankie Paul? I don't know. Is this the Mormon? Uh, I don't know, but I know I've seen her make videos about me, and she's you know she's uh she's bad, but she's just I don't know. I, I think she's dramatic. That's that's the vibe that I got. She okay. seems like, so you a like drama, chill milfs, a drama queen. Yeah, um, I can't I can't marry Heidi. Um, if I got hey, if I got the the go ahead, I would fuck Heidi. Uh, if Mark let me, and then I'm obviously marrying Sherry Nicole. All right, Boom. that's pretty easy. Yeah, that was an easy one. Mm-hmm. What's next? Kim K, Sophia Verga, and Sierra. You say what do you say? Vergara, Sophia Vergara. Sof- I can't see that far. <laughs> Sophia Vergara is actually like my dream woman. Has always been like my favorite, like my number one. If I had to pick any girl on earth, it'd be Sophia Vergara. So okay. like, wow. Scr- yeah, scratch all the rest. I'd give all the Marys to Sophia Vergara. I wish she would marry me right now, but turns out she's married to like one of the dudes from Magic Mike. So you know. <sighs> Yeah, competition. yeah, it's some yeah. big comp. Big I think comp. he's like my height and swole and like mm. just hot and fucking rich. So, yeah. Nice. So, you know, if I could, I'd marry Sofia Vergara. Uh, I'd probably kill Kim Kardashian and, and, really? and fuck Sierra. Yeah, Sierra. Damn. Mm-hmm. I mean, why, why is that surprising? I don't know. I just feel like I would have to give Kim K a go. No, dude, Ciara's bad. And I think I think you're 19, right? I'm 20, yeah. 20? Okay, yeah. I think that's the difference. Because yeah, Ciara was sense. so bad in my era, and I just... You yeah, know, you, King like, grew K. up on her? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah Kim yeah, K, yeah, I don't know. We have, some, we have some Pixar people. Okay, so we okay. got Trudy Proud, Mrs. Incredible, and Wilma Flintstone. Yeah, this is pretty easy here. I yeah. feel like it is, too. Hey, no hate to the Flintstones, but I'm killing you Wilma. Gotta, you yeah. yeah. I'm definitely marrying Trudy Proud, and I'm fucking Mrs. Incredible on site. I'm fucking Mrs. Incredible first. All right, that's that's first priority because yeah, she's bad. Yeah, I was about to say she's so bad. But right? Trudy Proud is just a legend, so I'm marrying her and and R.I.P. Wilma. Who the fuck's Trudy Proud? It's from the Proud the Proud, Proud show? family, yeah. Proud family. No, never heard of it. It's kind of like more, I'm more the Flintstone vibes. Twenty three. That's kind of okay, like yeah. It's kind of like my era. We're going Flintstone and like Judy Jetson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mrs. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Just she just built crazy. Well, yeah, she's, she's built she's, crazy. She got the dump. She's hot, no doubt. I got a I got a bar about that. I got well, actually, multiple. I have a bar where I start a song. All right, real quick story. I have I have a song where I start it with 
Uh, hey, shout out to all the Sofia Vergara's. The what, what do I say? Uh, the is that why do we know that? By the way, did our people know that you're a Sofia Vergara fan? Is that why she was in there? I don't know. I yes. mean, she is a legendary. She is a legendary milf. So I'm not sure. That, yeah, that's she's why. like top milf. Okay, well, well, in in this song, I spit like in the beginning. I said like, shout out to all the Sofia Vergara's, the Brandy Loves, the Mrs. Incredibles, and like like I literally shouted them all out. And actually, when, when we shot that music video, Brandy Love surprised me at the video shoot this was like hey. a while ago like four years ago and you know brandon love i don't think so do you uh, i'm a fan of her work yeah. yeah 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 it's more like i think more men might know of her but porn uh star. we had right porn oh star. okay yeah, don't yeah. the most yeah. legendary like male <laughs> porn star in existence and we yeah. had a we had a, a, a good time together she's a she's a sweetheart um isn't there? Who's the other pretty legendary milf? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Ann. Ann? Yeah, Lisa yeah, Ann. Oh, she's, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. at the bar still. She's fucking massive. Time. Yeah. yeah, she's yeah. Like, she's uh, she's super Glennie nice. Balls, Glenny Balls yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, Glenny and ba- Glenny Balls and I recently had a had a long convo about another milf porn star. I, I probably shouldn't have a name yet, but uh, you know, he's <laughs> you, he, he, you and Glenny <laughs> Balls had a long conversation. All right, yeah, that's another <laughs> yeah, one of those combos. Yeah. I would have loved to be a fly on the wall for that Me one. Me too. We, yeah, we got a lot of mutual friends apparently. Yeah. Well. Oh, Glenny, Glenny only stands the number one OnlyFans uh, podcast in the world, as far as I know. Yep. Yeah, man, he gets he gets it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Glenny Balls gets it. All right, uh, that's for sure. All right, Young Gravy, fascinating. We have a couple stuff. more. Oh, we got more. We got. Oh, more, we got sorry. more. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Let's go. All right, oh, Aunt Becky seems- from Full House. We have Tammy Taylor from Friday Night Lights and Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones. This, this one's cake. I feel like I feel, uh, yeah, I know I mean, my answer right away. Is it fucked up to say that I'd, I'd, I'd know only the Full House girl? I don't know uh, the other ones. I, you haven't watched Friday Night Lights or no, Game of Thrones? No, That's I've crazy. seen either. You don't know Game of Thrones at all? I haven't no, watched I any of it. it. I'm in the same boat. I have no idea who that girl is from Game of Thrones. That's why I was going to kill her. Okay. Well, yeah, if you yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, evil we'll girls, then you would we'll fuck her. her. Okay, well, she's, been, she's getting killed. Uh, I, I, lo- I don't hate evil. I love I love good, so we're <laughs> we're killing her. Uh, I watched the first two two episodes, and I remember there was like, it was like just slow, and then it was a little. It was like I remember there was like that's uh, factual. What's, you, what's, you, what's that? you're talking Game of Thrones, right? Yeah, yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah, Game yeah, of you got to get over the hump. You get, it's like two or three episodes. You got to you got to stick it out. Okay, and then once you and get then past hooked. there, it it takes off. But you are. I right just remember like off. the only hype moment within two hours was was Peter Dinklage like being in a fucking tower and like his brother and sister were like fucking each other. It was just a weird, I was like, guy, this is kind of lit, but otherwise I, there's I a lot of incest in it. No, yeah. Right. It was, you got, you got to stick it out in the beginning to get through it. Connie Britton is like the best right. of all time in Friday night lights. So really, be okay. my Mary. So Fuck. I'm going to, I'm going to marry Lori Laughlin. Yep. Yeah. Me yep. too. I'm going to marry Lori Laughlin. Yep. I could just look at that picture itself and marry her because she is a fucking beaut. So yeah, yeah, she's yeah. arguably like the prettiest woman who ever lived. She's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. she's, she's like aged gorgeous. quite well. As her well. daughter looks exactly like her too. How old's her daughter? Um, uh, she's got to be like twenty three. Yeah, she's a, she was yeah. in the big news because she was the girl who got the USC because they like lied on her application. Oh, and then, like, yeah, her parents the rowing. Went to jail. Oh. Because, oh. yeah, her parents like went to jail. Lori Laughlin went to court for a while. I don't yeah, know if yeah, she yeah, ever yeah. ended up in jail. Yeah, her daughter uh, her daughter looks exactly like her. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, you know, she pro- dates the hottest guy ever, um, the guy from Euphoria. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. By the way, yeah, overrated. Yeah. She, she dude does date somebody. Yeah. You talking about the Mac Miller looking guy? No, no that's, that's Fez. Fez. It's uh, you give me Fez vibes. Have you ever met him? No, I haven't. Angus but, uh, Cloud. Okay, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of mutual friends, but I haven't. I yeah, haven't. I feel you, like you, I would you give pick me the same vibes. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, cool. what's well, his I guess name? I'm honored. What's the name? What is his name? Is it name? Nate? Nate in He's the show is Nate. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was in Jacob Elordi. That's what it is. Yeah, she dates Jacob Elordi. Boring looking though. He's he's classically good looking, but kind of like boring. Good yeah. Looking. Yeah. I thought the same thing. Well, when I saw him, I was like, I respect. Like this dude's hot. Like, yeah, I, it I, makes sense. With him. Yeah, yeah. And I he's respect. like seven feet tall too. Yeah. Yeah. Is he? Well, yeah, he's really he's tall. Pretty he's pretty tall. T- I don't know. You you don't have to one on one fight. Fight for your love. Yeah. Can someone search how tall he is? He's tall. You're six seven. You're six seven. I'm gonna look it up right now. I'm six seven, right now. I'm six, seven and a half. Anyways, uh, I'm marrying Lori. Uh, Connie, I guess I'll hit. And He's only I'll six go. foot five. All right, we're only six foot five. Ain't got nothing. Got two and a half on him. Oh, talk oh, about Lisa. Here, we go. Yeah, here we, go. we go. Okay, here we go. This is who we were speaking of earlier. Yes. Um, Brandy Love. Um, so are know. these all porn stars? These are all porn stars. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Brandy Jenna Love Jameson's is the one who, like the original. OG yeah. porn star. 
She must yeah, be like a little bit too original for me because I've seen the name, but I haven't really delved too me deep. Me neither. Me neither. Yeah. Brandy Love. I mean, we have history. Uh, she was my music video. She let me hit at the music video shoot. She's a sweetheart. Nice. I think that, I mean, I guess I already, you know, marry Brandy Love, fuck Lisa Ann, kill Jan- Jenna Jameson. All right. I like how I don't know if I say like you're so casual the way you say uh, Brandy Love, good girl, let me hit during the shoot. Which is very (laughs) casual the way you're like, yeah, fuck her. I think the way you use like I hit, let me hit, like like, nice, let me like whatever, clap to you. Just casual. Just you know. Yeah, clap cheeks. It's a a friendly activity. I don't know. know, Yeah, it's it's a wholesome show. It's a kid's show. Kids show. Exactly. Wholesome activity. (laughs) Yes, sir. All right. Young gravy. That's that's all we got for you, unless you guys have more questions. It's an easy, uh, quick interview. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, yeah. I've been told a lot that I, I need to get get on like your pizza thing. Ooh, uh, are you a pizza I guy? Don't know. I'm a big pizza guy. Yeah. So yeah, I I I, I eat pizza everywhere. I've like, been pizza doing it for seven, take eight pictures. years. Yeah, yeah. I saw what? one video and it was it was uh, I think it was Uno's in Chicago because I used to go there all the time. I went to college yeah. like an hour away. Well, that yeah. So basically, just started. I, kind of it wasn't planned but for about eight years monday through friday i i try a new pizza place and rate it so i've tried them almost i, I haven't tried one. all the good ones in the united states but most of them how'd you feel about uh new haven pizza it's the best period. really okay because because i got it but the only reason i got it was because there was, there was these girls from yale that were really like into me and we had a show that was like 20 minutes away and it was like i need a new haven pizza but like what we didn't have a- were you at toads it was at uh, it was in Wallingford, Connecticut, okay. at a, uh, the Dome, and uh, we wanted the pizza, but we didn't have a, any time to go get it. So these girls brought it, and it was like an hour yeah, after. You can't judge it that way. Not the yeah. same. So I feel like it wasn't fair. It wasn't New, fair. New Haven is to me the best pizza in, in basically the world. There's a bunch of short, and they know it. Like they brag about it. There's movies, mm-hmm. but you got my favorite that I've ever had is Sally's, which is New Haven. You have Sally's, Pepe's, and Modern, the big three, all very close. Here, it was right whatever here, the original one is. Wearing it. This is my. It was the ori- really. Yeah. Yeah. It was the. It was whatever the original one is. That's the one that that we got. But it was it was like kind of cold. Yeah, you can't uh, judge it that, that way. Sucks, but yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I if, if you're ever in town or in the same place, uh, come do a pizza review with me. We have guests. You ever? Uh, when are you in Minneapolis next? You ever? If you're ever in Minneapolis, uh, my favorite pizza spot is called Young Joni. You ever heard of that? Yeah. Oh, I've I've ra- I just told you I've done it all. I've I rated You've done Young Joni. I've done them all. But what did you think the, of Young Joni? I, I did Young Joni. I, I thought it was good. It's not. It's definitely not the best in Minnesota. The best was. Uh, Fuck! What was the name, Mr. P- Mr. Pizza North in Rochester? No. Um, if you if you go to if you go to my hometown, I got I got the one for you. It's like Robin Hood or Black Robin or the hell's the one Minnesota? It's Black Sheep. Even know. How do you Black remember sheep. all of these names? Black, Black sheep. sheep. Oh, Black Sheep's tight. All right, all right. I'll, I'll give you that. I mean, they, those are I, I put them neck and neck. So, so respect. Young Joni has another one too. They got a couple. There's like another one that they own. I think. Suki and Mimi uh, just opened. It's like a like a Asian fusion taco spot. I was there last week. Piped the waitress. It was sweet. Oh, you're saying that's by Young Joni? Uh, I, young Joni. Or are you, Joni, just, or are you just saying? Or is just the humble brag to, to say he banged the waitress? I, I, wanted, I wanted you guys to know. So you say you piped the waitress. Yeah. I wanted you guys yeah. to know that the owner of Young Joni has another restaurant that I really like, and my friends told me to go there, and then I had sex with the waitress. That's Got a, it. What not? If, you're, if you haven't heard of Whatnot, is a live stream auction app where you can buy collectibles, comics, and really almost anything else. They bring businesses and people together through commerce where sellers can host live streams and engage connoisseurs like yourself can bid in real time. Live stream happening 24-7. You never know what you'll discover. And now Barstool is Whatnot's newest seller. We'll be going live once a week on Whatnot, running live shows, selling never-before-seen auction items and Whatnot exclusives. Create a Whatnot account using the link in the description. Get 10 bucks off your first purchase. Make sure you follow the Barcelona Sports page to get alerted whenever we're going live. Pretty For a second, story. I didn't think there was any relation to Young Joni. I thought you just wanted to be like, yeah. No, by yeah, the, yeah, by the, the way, I fucked away from recently. It was super, it was super tight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. All right. Yeah. There is Young Gravy. Interesting cat. Yeah. Young Gravy slash Caleb Presley. He doesn't. Well, Caleb's got a girlfriend, but he doesn't talk as casually as some of the stuff you do. But very similar vibes. Yeah. Yeah, that's my dude. Well, he's from the South, right? Yeah, he's from North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's a weird connection between like Minnesota, Wisconsin, and like Georgia, North Carolina. It's like the the twins, but just opposite sides. 
Never heard that before. We'll have to Me look either. into that. I have I just thought of it right now. But they it just made it up. Yeah, I just made it up, but it feels right. All right. All right. Thanks, young gravy. Beautiful. Sweet. Fuck yeah. Pleasure, man. That's it. All right. I'll talk to you later. I, hey, I, hold I, on, Dave. Before you leave, before you leave, where'd you go? To, you went to college? Where'd you go to school? Yeah, I went to college. I went to school, Michigan. Michigan. Oh, for real? Yeah. Wow. You, damn, that's lit, man. I mean, you know, I went to Wisconsin. I I, I had a hell of homies that went to Michigan. I done hella shows in Ann Arbor. That's that's wild, man. Yeah. I love all those Midwest schools, bro. I almost went to Ohio State. That was like my other plan. That's another nice. big guy, uh, like another guy at our company is really well known. Dan, big cat. He went to Wisconsin. He's very well. Really? Known. Yeah, it's like the biggest yeah. sports podcast in the country. What's it called? Part of my take. Oh, oh, dude, that dude hits me up. I'm dumb. All right, I hit him back. All right. Yeah, perfect. he's a Wisconsin I'll, guy. I'll hit him back right now. Yeah. Beauty. Oh, yeah, See, man. we're making friends. Everybody's kind of this. Do you guys know that Virgil Abloh went there and uh, Buzz Aldrin, who first stepped on the moon? and Wisconsin? Ab- yeah, this guy, this dude's Caleb. He's just throwing out like you never know yeah, which yeah, direction yeah. the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caleb so much. Just, I'm like, what just the Just nice fuck? facts about about <laughs> fucking Wisconsin. All right, man. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah. go Badgers. Well, thank I'm not you. A Wisconsin guy, obviously. It's pretty nuts. The Michigan though. Alliance, but for your sake, I'll say it. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 go to Wisconsin Michigan games back and forth because of the me and Dan. We we're we're out there quite a bit. We should pull up to one. Can we can we pull up to a to a? Can can I come next time? Yeah, hundred percent. I don't know where they're playing this year. Um. I think we were at we killed them this year. I think we're at Wisconsin this year. I think usually you guys usually you guys win overall. You guys had a good run up till this year. You smashed us. But the the the, the four years that I went there were their best four years in, in in sports. It was it was when they won when they almost won the basketball championship three times, and when they were like really good at football. When they had uh, Melvin Gordon, it was like yeah. that whole. I was well, there the, at the best uh, time. Frank Kaminsky had a podcast with us for a couple. Yeah. Years. Oh really? Okay, me and him are boys in in college. I, I got put into like the athlete dorm, and like we would all play Super Smash Bros. and stuff. Man, it was, it was yeah, they're good well, dudes. They're good dudes. Great people. Yeah. Oh right. yeah. Well, shit. I'll all let right. you go, man. Pleasure. All right. All right. Thanks, young great. Sweet. We'll talk to you. Yeah, y'all take these.